Paint Cost Estimator for Excel Painting Cost Estimator Tutorial Start Paint Cost Estimator program by clicking on the Paint Cost Estimator icon on the desktop. This will start your Microsoft Excel program and also the Paint Cost Estimator. Right under the Excel ribbon, you will see a warning. Some active content has been disabled. Click on the Enable Content button next to it. This way, the built-in programming will be enabled and functional. Note, for Office 2007 version of Excel, click on Options and then Enable Macros button. The welcome screen will appear. Click on OK button or Continue Trial button if this is a trial edition. Also, close any other informational messages that may show. Now you should see the Add-ins menu that has been attached to Excel menu system. Click on Add-ins and then on Paint Cost menu item. You will see the entire program menu of Paint Cost Estimator which you will use to build and manage estimates. Let's take a quick look at the menu groups. The first group of menu items is for the purpose of building and managing interior and exterior painting estimates. The second group is for built-in reporting. Notice there are several summary and detail levels of one-click reports including price quotation and paint order reports. If you are using a trial edition of Paint Cost Estimator, the next group includes online purchase and registration menu and entering the authorization code that will switch the program to registered status. If already registered, you will not see these menus. The last group is for step-by-step -step tutorial and help system. Finally, about menu will display the welcome screen. Let me briefly go through the worksheets at the bottom of the screen. Estimate. This is the worksheet where Paint Cost Estimator builds the cost estimate. When you start building a brand new estimate, this worksheet will be empty. If there are any entries from your previous work, you should clear entries using the Clear Estimate Worksheet under Paint Cost menu. Important note. Estimate worksheet is protected. If you try to write in one of the cells, you will get a warning message. Everything you need to add on the estimate worksheet can be accomplished through using the paint cost menu functions. Sheet protection allows for data entry error checks to maintain data integrity. So remember, no direct data entries are allowed on the estimate worksheet. Job info. This worksheet contains some Rolodex type reference information related to yourself and your customer. Fill out the green highlighted cell information, some of which will be used in the quotation report headers automatically. Quick help. Contains some basic help information at your fingertips. Inclusion. Quotation reports have standard predefined sections. One section is to mention what is included in the quotation in a verbal manner. When you enter an X in column A, then the program will list the column B content as an included item in the quotation report. Cost data. This worksheet contains standard work items such as painting walls, ceiling, doors, windows, etc., which are typically applicable to all spaces. Columns indicate paint price, paint coverage, labor hours, material and labor, and finally the total cost for each line item. The number of codes make a difference in cost, so the codes column indicates that. By the way, as a user, you may modify all data in the white cells but not red cells since they typically involve standard verbiage or involve formulas. One note about coverage. 
notice how coverage goes down as the number of codes go up this is because as there are more codes for the same area a unit volume such as a gallon of paint will be sufficient to cover less area if more codes are required cost data custom worksheet this worksheet contains cost data including cost code description unit and cost data for material paint coverage and labor the custom items are for work that is in addition to the standard work items covered in the cost data worksheet you can add or delete rows of items from these worksheets thereby customizing the data list just follow the same format as we provide that is one row per cost data rates contains custom user entries for job markup rate sales tax and wage rate entries these are user definable defaults are provided be sure to review and make changes in the white cells before you start building the cost estimate field worksheet this is simply a field inspection worksheet that you can print and take with you when you inspect the job site to prepare a code for a customer one last point while you may use Excel's rename feature to rename the worksheet labels you may not add or delete a worksheet also you may not move the worksheets and disrupt their sequential order now having briefly introduced to you what each section of the program does let me now turn to how to actually build an estimate you build an estimate by adding cost items that cover the scope of work as an estimator you have resources such as field notes plans sketches and material list that will guide you and help you to determine cost items and take off quantities paint cost estimator will figure painting estimates for interior and exterior areas for a particular job the cost estimate is based on each space for example for a single family home a space could be dining room bedroom number one kitchen corridor bathroom number one etc to start an interior space click on the add ins then paint cost menu select add new space interior from the paint cost program menu this will open the space estimate for interior window enter a brief space ID such as bedroom one in space ID and enter a description such as bedroom number one south side then click on the space calculator this will open the calculator window enter length width and height Note the add add ons and deducts. Add on deducts. These are for areas that are not in the surface painting scope if applicable. Examples a tiled wall or floor area, a missing wall, a wallpapered wall, a wall cabinet, etc. Enter add on and deduct values as approximately calculated values. If not ap applicable, leave these as zero. Note that for entries, use, you should use decimal. For example, 12 foot 6 inches is to be written as 12.5. Click OK when you are finished, and the calculator with the calculated figures are transferred to the work definition section, and appropriate fil fields are populated in the space identification. These are wall, area, ceiling, baseboard. At this point, you can change these entered figures at your will and also add more work item quantities such as, say, one door.
50 feet of trim. Also, for each item you can select the number of coats. One coat, trim, three coats, doors, one coat. Notice how the dollar figure, the cost change, as well as the paint in gallons change. As I change the number of coats and as I change the quantity. You can also add as many as four custom work items that you can you can select from the cost data custom worksheet lookup as follows. Let's add one. Paint cornice. Okay. The information is transferred here. Now I have to change the quantity. Let's say the square foot I have instead of one, I have 15 and a half. You notice how the information quickly changes. As the entries are made, paint cost estimator will figure out totals. Paint volumes and assign paint references which will be used in creating the paint order report. At this point you may want to enter a memo note. When you click OK, Paint Cost Estimator will close the Space Data Enter window and create a row in the estimate worksheet corresponding to the space just estimated. You can now continue adding more interior and exterior spaces to your estimate. Let's add another quick interior space. Okay. At any time, you may want to revisit a space entry and maybe change some of the information. Just click your mouse anywhere on the row, then select Edit Space from the Paint Cost menu under Add-ins. And here it is. I can change some of the information add some trims, one coat, click OK. Creating reports. Creating reports is simple. All paint cost estimator reports are tied to paint cost menu. And basically all you have to do is click and select the report that you want. When you select the report, Paint Cost will create it on screen as a separate Excel file. If you want to save the report, simply use Excel Save As function and rename and save it. If you want to read, then delete the report, just close the Excel report file. It's that simple. You may create as many reports as you like during the course of an estimate, some of which you may end up printing and saving. You can always open the estimate over again and create even more reports. Some reports are suitable for in-house review and others are more suitable for submitting to customers. It all depends on how much detailed information you want your customers to see. It's up to you to decide. Take a look. Let's take a look at some of the other reports. For example, proposed bid and scope reports under detail. Here is the space ID and description here is all and here is the uh, 
size of the space and here is the, all the work that is to be done including a description quantity unit number of codes and total dollars and here's the subtotal so the whole thing is subtotaled right here by the way these dollars include your markups as well as sales tax if sales tax is applicable let's close this report let's choose another report price quotation work and cost breakdown here it is the logo sits right at the top some basic information about yourself the quotation by space and the total what are the include included items like material label doors windows trims here's a brief brief uh, billing schedule that you can change yourself it is user defined and here are the signed contractor agreed customer so this can be a report that's very suitable to send to a customer so that they can sign it off and you can start the job one last thing again on the reports if you rename your company logo file as my logo period jpeg jpg and place it in the installation folder of the program paint cost estimator will place it on top of the quotation reports as I just demonstrated just a few use, uh, useful tips before I close when you want to start a new estimate first open paint cost XLS original master file then immediately rename it using Excel save as function under a different name such as my new estimate save my new estimate build your cost estimate on this new job specific Excel file Be another tip before you start building your cost estimate be sure to review and change if necessary the markup rate wage rates and sales tax rate in the rates worksheet well this is about it and happy estimating to all